So today we're going to be doing a uh, classic mass, <clears throat> mass balance problem and the problem reads 1000 kilograms per hour of a mixture containing equal parts of equal parts by mass of methanol and water is distilled. Total streams leave the top and the bottom of the distillation column. The flow rate of the bottom stream is measured and found to be 673 kilograms per hour and the overhead stream is analyzed and found to contain 96 weight percent methanol. Then calculate the mass and mole fractions of methanol and the molar flow rates of methanol and water in the bottom product stream. The first thing I did is I went ahead and drew the diagram and put in all the da all the data that I knew which was what was coming in and that the top stream overhead stream which I call here M1 is equal to 96% uh, weight percent is methanol in this stream uh, but we don't know what that what M1 is the total so we cannot we don't know what this is yet now this is very important it says 1000 kilograms per hour of mixture containing equal parts by mass of methanol and water is distilled. This means that by that what the 500 kilograms per hour uh, is going to be H2O and 500 kilograms per hour is going to be the methanol. Alright, and now, now that we know this, we can go ahead and uh, we can find what M1 is because this is a steady state problem and there's no accumulation. And we know what's coming in has to be all of what is coming out. So then we can figure out what M1 is. And M1 is just simply is equal to 1000 minus 673, which equals... Um, 327 kilograms per hour it's what is coming out uh, here now we can do uh, now we can do the calculations to find how much methanol and how much water is going out in this uh, top stream so we'll go ahead and um, So in the top stream, we got, let's change that to red. So in the top stream, we got uh, 327 kilograms. Let's just, it's per hour, but let's just, for, sim for the sake of simplifying, uh, saving space, let's just put kilograms. And now uh, we know that 96% of this M1 by mass, uh, percent mass is equal to um, methanol. So then we can just simply do this. And now we know that 313.92 kilograms um, of methanol, it's what is exiting the overhead stream. Now it's fairly easy to figure out how much water is coming out in this stream because it's just the total, which is 327 minus uh, the methanol. And now we got how much water, uh, by mass of water is going out. And that is just simply going to be that is going to give us thirteen point zero eight um, kilograms of H two O per per hour of water going out of the top stream. Now we can go ahead and move and work on the bottom stream, and so we can just do that here. And now, because like I said, this is a steady state problem, which means there's no accumulation, which means that um, all the mass going in is equal to the mass going out. Actually, in this problem, if you, if you think about it, there's uh, three major uh, mass balances that you can do, and those are a total mass balance, which is all the mass going in equal, must equal all the mass going out. Then you can do a mass balance on just the water and a mass balance on just the methanol and so now we we go ahead and we can figure out 
how much methanol and how much water is going out in the uh, bottom stream. And so the first thing we do is uh, we know that 500 kilograms of water are going in and 13.08 and of those are uh, going through the top stream. So the remainder must go through the bottom stream. So then we can just simply do um, 500 minus 13.08 is equal to um, 486.92 kilograms per hour of H2O are going through the bottom stream. And so now we can do two things. It's very simple. We can either, we know 672 kilograms per hour are going through the bottom stream, so we can either sub subtract this 486 from the 673 or we can do the mass balance on the uh, on the methanol which means that 500 uh, minus then this 96 percent that is going through here which is equal to 313.92 uh, is going to give us how much methanol is actually going through the bottom stream and let's, let's do it that way and then we will prove that it's the same minus 313.92 that is going to give us 186.08 kilograms per hour of methanol is going through the bottom stream now if we take these two guys this the mass of the water and the mass of the methanol going out and we add them together we do indeed get 173 kilograms per hour which proves that this is the, the balance is right. Now, in order to, uh, we will go ahead and answer the uh, the questions. Basically, uh, calculate the mass and mole fractions of methanol. We're gonna do that now, and the molar flow rates of methanol and water in the bottom of the product stream. So, this is this is the mass balance. What it remains is just converting this into moles and. Uh, and, and just seeing what the ratios are. So we're gonna do that here so we have more space. So then now we're gonna do the mass fraction part. And so we have 186.08 kilograms of methanol. And then we divide this by 673 kilograms of the total bottom stream, and then we get that the uh, the uh, the mass fraction of methanol is 0 0.28, about 0 0.28 um, And then uh, we can go ahead now. This is this was fairly simple because it's just dividing the, you know, the, the mass of methanol divided by the total mass of that stream, and that gives gives you the uh, the mass fraction. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, the mole fraction part for methanol and water. Let me, let me all right so now for this we got to convert uh, for this part we have to convert the 486.92 kilograms of water and 186.08 kilograms of C, uh, methanol into how many how many how many moles is this of each one? So we can get uh, a mole fraction. So what we do that is, uh, as you can see here, I put what the molar mass of each one was, and now we can we're gonna use that uh, to find the the mole the mole fraction. So what we get is uh, one eighty six point zero eight 
kilograms of CH4O times um, 32.04 kilograms of CH4O uh, it's equal to one kilomole of CH4O and that is going to give us 5.81 about kilomoles of uh, per hour of CH4 oh methanol now we do the same for the water then remember for the water we had 486.92 kilograms per hour of um, H2O and then we know that the molar mass it's 18.02 kilograms oops, kilograms of H2O per one kilomole of H2O and so uh, and so here we are going to end up getting 27.02 kilomole per hour of H2O so now now in order to find the um, the the mole fraction of the uh, methanol which is simply 5.81 kilomoles of CH4O divided by the total amount of moles, which is 4.81 um, plus 27.02 kilomoles. That is going to give us about 0.177 of my uh, more more fraction of. Uh, of methanol. And so for if you look at the question, let's see what they were asking because I forget, calculate the mass and mole fractions of methanol. Okay, so that's what we did. This is the mole fraction and this is the mass fraction of methanol. So we're good there. And then it says, uh, and the molar flow rates of methanol and water in the bottom product stream. And this is, uh, so this will be the molar flow rate of methanol. So we get 5.81 kilomoles per hour, and then this will be the molar flow rate of H2O. And then uh, this uh, this might confuse some people. It, it certainly did. It's fairly simple, but um, I've it took me like a second the first time I saw it because I never saw this before. So basically you saw me using for for the water, for converting the water, the methanol, you saw me using uh, here kilograms and kilomoles and all this stuff. And you know, it saves time. It, it, that is the same as saying, you know, because here you got 18.02 grams per mole. So if you if you want to convert this 18.02 grams per mole to kilograms per to kilograms so basically because that's what you got you got kilograms here so that's why I did that so then what you do is you you if you want to do it by hand you can do this you can do there's 1000 uh actually it's my mistake so there's 1,000 grams per uh, one kilogram, right? And um, that is going to give you, uh, you know, you're just gonna divide it by, divide this by three, but then is, so so basically we get, let's just do it. Like we got 0 0.1802 um, kilograms per mole. 
But you know, you don't really want to work with this number. That number is very small. And as long as, and so what I did is now just said there's 1,000 moles per kilogram. I mean, per kilo mole, which is 1,000 moles. And so that's why I ended up doing this 18.02 uh, kilograms per kilomole. And that's where that came from. You see, it's, it's very simple, but and it's, it's useful because it's a quick conversion that you can make instead of uh, just instead of doing all this, you can just uh, to get to this ugly number, you know, with, or, or converting the kilograms uh, here to to grams so you can convert to moles. Uh, you can just simply work in kilomoles instead because in the end you're just trying to find a ratio. So you don't really care if it's 1000 moles or 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 one mole, you don't really care because it's going to be the same either a ratio in the end. So you can just simply do this. And I just took a little time to talk about this because the first time I saw it, I was like, wait, I've never seen this before from chemistry class. I always work with grams and moles. I never work with such a thing as kilograms and kilomoles. So, but I mean, if you take the 15 seconds to analyze it, then you can just do the switch in your head immediately in mass and energy and work with this unless they're specifically requesting moles in that case you just got to go through the conversion but otherwise you can just work with, with kilomoles and kilograms and uh, and that's really good because um, you see most of these problems you're gonna get the stuff in kilograms uh, usually you work with big numbers like that you don't work with grams uh, so that's all for today uh, thank you have a good day